Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for Dweebovision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. My opponent's gone first and changed, and with six vowels... I am also going to change. I'll keep the E because it's a useful letter, but nothing else is worth keeping. And I have Sneezer. I believe Sneezer is good. I'll certainly be trying it. It is too plausible uh, not to play. Now, were my opponent to change again, I could play this at h8 and leave it one short of the triple word square at h15. But the uh, issues raised by that have gone away by my opponent uh, making a move. So, where can I play Sneezer? And are there any eight-letter bingos through a floater? I'm going to look for the floaters first. I'm just working my way through payout in order. No, I can't see anything. I've clearly got payout and sneezers. Sorry, payout and sneezer. But I can also play it at G7. Now, are there any other spots? Well, if it's above payout, I can only put the N above the Y, and that would place the S over the A, and that doesn't work. Underneath payout... Well, the Z can't go underneath any of those tiles, but I could play it at i7, so it's a choice between i7 and g7. I suspect there's very little between these. Let's just see what this scores. I still have got the possibility of playing payouts and sneezer. Now that's 77 points. I'm just mentally going to calculate the payouts and sneezer score. Well, about 82, I'm going to take the points. This opens the board up a lot. And I think if you score a bingo, an open board is not a bad thing. It gives you the opportunity to consolidate your lead. Of course, the downsize is, is that it gives your opponent an opportunity to come straight back. But I think the additional points justify this move. Now, I have the X. I note that there's a double letter square under the O of payouts. So I could play X at I6. 39 points. So that's my baseline score. The rack leave is pretty poor. Okay, I've been um, punished in, um, well, sort of the worst possible way, but uh, the score could have been higher. I note that my opponent has only used one and two point tiles. What he's also done is place an I underneath a triple letter square where I can place an X. So if it's, is there anything better than X? I note that F-A-U-X is good. So possibilities are whoops, A-X down here. I don't think I can 
extend that in any way. Okay, now one other possibility, that's 52 points, one other possibility is fax down here. 56 points, well it's more points and it plays off the F which is a non-bingo tile. So that is better. I can't play foe in this spot. The rack leave is pretty awful. So I need to be careful that I'm not overlooking uh, a better spot. But with 56 points, I don't think there's too many opportunities to score uh, for a better move than that. Okay, that's not too bad. I could play UE, UEY, which would leave EIGN, which is not a bad rack leave. I'm 16 points ahead right now. It's still um, a wide open board. Just wondering if I have a bingo. I don't think I do the U and the Y. Not a great pair of letters. I do have the EU prefix and there's quite a few bingos beginning with that. But I don't see any any bingo. Now I've got the G for Zag, but I don't have a tile to go after F. I don't have a tile which goes after X. So I can probably do better than that. The Y is my highest scoring tile, so I need to look to see where I can play the Y. It does go in front of X, but again, I don't have a letter which goes in front of Zar, so I can't really uh, use that. Well, what I could do is play Yexing, but that's now been blocked. Exo takes an N after it, but Zars takes nothing. Okay, so that hasn't worked out particularly well. My opponent's got 48 points, but he hasn't uh, generated any scoring places for me. And I can't see anywhere to play uh, U, E, Y, apart from N, 3. And that just isn't much of a score. So I'm looking around just for other opportunities. I could play Guy, G-U-Y, at I-5. That's not too bad. Problem with this is the uh, vowels that I'm leaving behind. Sorry, that I'm retaining on my rack. But 28 points is a lot more than I would get for Yui at N3, which is about 13, so it's 15 extra points. And the deterioration in the rack is the price paid for that. I'm 32 points behind, so this will bring me back to within 4. Just scanning the board to see if there's anything I've overlooked. That's quite a nice pickup. I must be pretty close to a bingo. The board has now um, really tightened, however. Guy has taken out almost all of the floaters in payouts. Really the only one left is the T. And I don't think I have got a bingo through the T. Through an R I would have a neoteric and direction. I 
I don't think I have a seven. So an L I'd, I would have election. The C is my scoring tile. And that could be placed in front of Oi to make Koi. But that's not going to work out. I don't have tiles to play above and parallel to payouts. Well, my opponent continues to score well. He gets 31 points and has now got a 35 point lead. I don't have a letter which goes after Arga. N goes in front of it. So I could play Icon at G2 for 18 points. That's not particularly good. Just wondering if I can play through the three tiles of XO. I don't think I can. I don't can't see any words ending X on, and that's not a particularly common ending anyway. Just considering O12, the A of soccer, onto the triple word square. I could play ants, that's not too bad. Well, it's only 18 points. And it leaves three vowels and one consonant. So what should I do? This is quite a, a critical stage of the game. The board is tight. My opponent is ahead. So do I play Icon at G2? All that does is open up a floater of I at G2. doesn't open up anything else. I could play Aeon at O12. Now that only scores 12 points, but the rack leave of CEIT is good. I'm not really opening the board up that much. N and O as final letters are not fantastic. Gosh, this is a tricky, tricky rack. Icon would leave T double E. That's not great. I think I am going to go with the the good leave of CEIT. This does open the board up a little bit. Not great. I don't have a seven letter bingo. I don't have a bingo through the T of payouts. I'm now 23 points behind and it's my opponent on turn. I do have a letter which goes in front of Arga in the G. So I could play Cog at G3 for 19 points, but the rack leave of double E I T is not good. I could play Exotic through XO. Now that's 30 points and well, I'd certainly rather be scoring 30 points than the high teens. The rack leave isn't great. G double E O. But exotic opens the board up a lot more than Aeon does because the C ending potential in column 15 is better than the N 
ending one. Now, my opponent has played old for 19. So, is exotic my best play? Just making sure there aren't any floaters I've overlooked on the board. And I don't think there is. Well, I'm rather dependent on um, how I pick from this rack. This leave is potentially really bad. And I draw the blank. Excellent. So do I have a bingo? Possibilities are onto the C of exotic, or onto the I of exotic, or onto or through the T of payouts. I can't play in row M because DI takes nothing above it, so that seven letter bingo lane has been taken out by my opponent. And there's a small possibility of playing in row K, but that's a three tile overlap, and that's in any event where my opponent has played. Our Argus takes a T at the end, but I don't have a bingo th in row L because I'd have to use my blank to go uh, underneath the Q, so I wouldn't have the blank available as a T. So I'm focusing first of all on the C of exotic. or a C blank N ending. I think the blank would have to be an I, and I don't think I have one. So, since it's right next to it, the I, do I have a bingo ending in I? Not that I can see. So I'm onto the T, and this looks much more promising. Rowent Gen doesn't play. Just mentally running through the alphabet, but also keeping an eye on the clock. I've got l less than eight minutes left, and there are still 41 tiles unseen. Now would be a very good time to uh, reply with a bingo. Con greet is good. Excellent. Con greet. It would be better to have a bingo which started one square lower. Co regency anagram of con greet. This is a really important move. If I can get a bingo starting one square lower, then the triple word square at A8 is less dangerous, but I don't have a, a lot of time to look for it, so I'm going to very rapidly run through the alphabet in my mind. I'm up to I. Up to P. Up to U. Okay, I can't see it, so now it's a choice between Congreet and Co-Regent. I think Congreet is better, marginally, because of the place of the G in terms of obstructing plays down column 8. That's not a great pickup. But I'd have a 10 point lead at the moment. Movie is good. I've got the I to go under, or two I's, one of which could go underneath the Q. What do I have that goes after BI? I think it's just the O. So I could play IO for 25 points. I don't really like retaining three high scoring tiles especially as I'm likely to be behind after this move. I 
I've also got um, another spot for the eye which is above the sea of exotic but I don't think my remaining tiles give me a triple word play these consonants are quite clunky they don't go well together this movie and this wive and view but I'm struggling to think of others there's the R of concrete okay my pen and bingos the board is um, is open with the, the tiles in concrete not sure I can score particularly well I've got less than six minutes on the clock so I'm I'm looking to bingo um, in order to win the game so I'm it's, it's important that I play off the non bingo -y tiles in my rack so play of wives somewhere would be quite good but there isn't anywhere where it plays and likewise with movie well there must be a best play well, I could just play wive down here it's a pretty um well it's just not a very good leave at all except it does go okay with the C the O goes well with the C that's 20 points it would be nice to um, play off one more vowel I don't have a great deal of time to find such a play yeah I think this is um, as good as I can manage well I have jock through the sea of concrete I am expecting my opponent to take out that spot just looking to see if I've got a play which goes underneath the queue but I, again I don't have um, ah my opponent does not take out the C now what I like about Jock is the rack leave of Demi which is quite bingo-y that's 42 points that would take me to 320 about 20 points behind I don't think Jocked is good I'm inclined to play this reasonably quickly given how good the rack leave is and mindful of the time well this isn't bad can't see a bingo I'm 17 points behind but my opponent is on turn I could play feud at L one 36 points leaving e i l m that's not bad my opponent's unlikely to go there because he won't want to open up a triple um word square lane which is what column one would become just looking to see if i've got a bingo through the n of concrete I don't think field men is good it doesn't go anyway because it's blocked by wive and I don't think field man is good so field men wouldn't be either good my opponent scores in the low 20s I'm 40 points behind let's open the board up a bit feud 36 points see if this worries him Menelite, Menelite and Jam. Great. Now, hopefully, my opponent's going to be distracted by the F of feud. 
Maybe he'll play something weedy down from L L1. Leaving Menelite free. That would be excellent. What else do I have? It's Menelite. Now there's four four anagrams in total. So Menelite, Melanite, Ilmenite, and Timeline. Okay, so it's only Menelite which goes. It's not that great a rack apart from that bingo. Just wondering if I've got anything onto the sea of exotic. I don't have a bingo. There's 13 tiles in the bag, 7 on my opponent's rack. The blank is still unseen. It doesn't go, but with the F of feud I have, or would have a lifetime, I think. Yes, lifetime. Time life is not good. Maybe I will play through the F if uh, my opponent takes out my spot. I could play Metif at H1 down. That would leave a reasonable rack leave. Score 30 points. There's no S's left, so playing Menelite is not as dangerous as it would be if there were S's. Menelite stopping one short of column 15. My, my opponent is taking a while. He may well have the second blank. If he bingos now, that's probably the end of my winning prospects. He doesn't. He does go through that uh, F. He scores more points than I would have liked, but Menelite should bring me back into contention. Menelite Jam. 91 points, wow. And I draw the blank, and I've got a 51 point lead. This is looks fairly bingo -y. I've only got three minutes, so I don't have a great deal of time to find a bingo. The floaters are the floaters in Menelite, I, T, and D, and the Sea of Exotic. Can't see anything onto the sea. So, do I have anything through the floaters in Menelite? W is my awkward tile. Lone word is good. I would need a floating O or D. I don't have one. There is also a bingo lane in column, sorry, in row E through the R of Congreet. Can't see anything with my rack through that. I need to focus on the W. It's likely to appear in a prefix like where or ward. Or something ending low. It's a tantalising rack, especially with the blank. Okay, I've got have I got a new floaters now? don't think I have. Well, there may be something through those double pairs, but with fewer than three minutes, I don't have a great deal of time uh, looking for it. I'd be better off. There's no tiles left. I can see what my opponent's got. He's got Bunto. So I really could just do with scoring well. Hmm. Not easy. Especially with the clock ticking. Huh, this is harder than I thought. Oh, I could just play WO here. Thank goodness Ewe's come in. 25 points. That should be enough to secure the win. Ah, one would be good as well. 31 points, even better. Yeah, 
I'm going with that. Almost certainly not the best. And I can play real at A3 down with the blank as an E. I don't think my opponent can go out. He may be able to. Nobbut. Okay, there isn't a voting B. Nobbut might be good. But I should focus on my own rack rather than my opponent's. So I've got real. What else do I have? Well, I have Neryl for much for not much score at I ten, so I am going out. Which is good. So real for eighteen points. And that would be my target. Ah, I've got Ravels at E two. That would score more. Sorry, Ravel. Ravel, yeah. I think that's about 20 points, so that's a minute amount more. What else is available? I can't use the Menelite's hook and go out. I could play Snarl and Congrete. Thirteen points. But a nice play. Okay, Ravel, I think, was the highest I saw. Ravel, and, well, we'll find out in a bit if that is the best. My opponent ends the game. And the final score, 438 to 510. So a high scoring game. Uh, I was not expecting to uh, to win that. Menelite really changed things around. Let's see what I missed. This was my opening rack. Louis for 12, keeping AE. That probably is a little bit better than changing, but changing won't be far behind. Sneezer H10, that's where I played. It was playable elsewhere for less. And Fax was my move, nothing clearly better. This was a move I agonised over. I could have played Gaia at N. Six. Ah, I see. Placing the G above the I of Raiders. That would have been quite nice. Uni not being a great leave. But actually, double E I N is perhaps better than I N U. The U is not a great tile to keep. So I think Guy was fine. Good. No missed bingos here. And Exotic looks um, looks fine. Except I didn't play Exotic. Okay, I overlooked Exotic and Exonic, both of which were certainly better than than Aeon. Oh well, that's a mistake. And now I did see it. I could also have played Cogito, keeping double E. Probably not much between those. So there was something onto the C. Aerogenic. Gosh, should have seen that. There was also Generous at B8 going through the U of payouts. That's quite nice. 
and Congrete and Co-Regent uh, are less good. Uh, Generous is significantly better because it doesn't open up the triple word square at A8 and Erogenic is a lot better. So actually playing Congrete instead of Erogenic um, is um, a significantly suboptimal play. I should have seen um, Erogenic. In Wove, through the N of Congrete, I was about 50 points behind at this point. What did I play? Oh, well I played Wive. Yeah, I don't think Wive is too bad. It's not far off the other ones. This is where I played Jock, and I think that's clearly best. And I could have played Fleam. Oh, I didn't consider row A, the opening um, made available by my, by my opponent's play of Aha. Uh -huh. But I think I prefer Feud. It's five fewer points, but the rack leave of EILM is a lot more bingoy than DI. This is where I was rather, rather fortunate to have a playable bingo. Menelite, no other ones were available. Now, did I miss one here? Nope, I didn't. And I notice also that uh, row A onto the A of Aha is still available, and I know I just did not consider that opening. So, ah, oh, gosh. So I could have played a worn in pretty much the same spot as I played one. Okay, I would have used the blank, but 40 points is a lot. And here, Ravel was the, or Ravel was the highest scoring play. Well, that was um, great fun. That was a high scoring game, uh, over 500 points and quite a few um, bingos, sneezers, Congrete and Menelite is a nice bunch of bingos. There were some interesting spots in that game. Exotic was an oversight and Congrete instead of Erogenic was certainly sub-optimal. So there were plenty of moves um, of interest to consider. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. My name is David Webb and this has been a video for DweeboVision.